Magic Drop provides two useful tables that help us understand and describe interfaces, the black box and white box ICD tables. So we're going to go to the Nemo Orbiter, previously released as part of the hypermodeling um, tutorials, and we're going to go ahead and create a black box ICD table. And notice that this gives us some information about the ports on the boundary of this particular uh, system block. So this basically gives us the black box view of the interfaces and we also can generate a white box ICD table which gives us information about the uh, inner elements inside the, this particular block. So these are all its part properties and their connections and notice that you know there's a few errors thrown again this is kind of a demo model but um, there's one issue with this is that it's basically one level deep and so if we want to go deeper, um, you would think that you would come here to the context and change that. That's not the case. So the ICD tables have some subtleties to them. Um, what you need to do is go to the specification window for the particular uh, ICD table you care about and go to its scope field. And you can either use the element chooser or simply just drag in uh, some blocks from the containment tree. And when you add those to the scope, uh, the table will rescope itself and notice we added significantly more information. So if you wanted to get the um, information for an entire uh, you know containment tree of uh, or structure tree for a system, you'd have to add every block. So I, I leave it to you to understand how to use a uh, smart package or some other query method to find all those easily. but basically once you have the um, information uh, ready to hand you can just drag and drop it in here and so what we're going to do oh and the interesting thing is scope is not part of the normal expert set so you'll want to come in here and customize it so that scope shows so that's an issue where here's a case where the field you need is hidden by default and so I'm going to go ahead and drag this in and now this ICD table is now going to have significantly more information. So again, this is how you can customize ICD tables very rapidly and then use them to uh, you know, provide information about the model. So this is a useful feature, particularly when developing interface uh, documentation. And so keep that in mind that, again, it will show you the flows, uh, shows you the, uh, the, the flow properties and other things about your ports. So useful built-in table that uh, I think could use some more use out in the wild. Thanks for watching and have a great day.